all right welcome to the next vlog we're starting it in my car because i'm meeting a friend for coffee and she's running a little bit late and so i thought why not start so hi everyone currently what am i currently reading i'm currently oh no i would have started in the last vlog i'm still reading death valley by melissa broder i'm really enjoying it i've read the pisces and i've read milk fed by her and love them both except if you have read the pisces you would know there is a dog scene that i'm not gonna say ruined it but i will say it would have been a favorite of mine had it not been included so i've read her stuff i tried to read so sad today well i tried to listen to it on audible audible was that right um when i was in the newborn stage and doing night feeds and i just couldn't get into it i didn't seem to be able to get into audiobooks in general unless it was a memoir which i know so sad today is but i don't know i just i couldn't get into it so i had to dnf it but apart from that have loved all her other stuff and this is no exception i'm loving it it feels like alice in wonderland but a grief version if that makes sense if you've read it that should make sense if you haven't read it it's alice in wonderland-esque with her climbing into a cactus and this world being a little bit a little bit surreal she's talking to rocks she's having fights with um the desert and all while trying to process things that are going in or going on in her life her husband's got a chronic illness, which they don't actually disclose what the illness is. And also her dad is in ICU. So she's kind of processing all of those. It's her father's situation that actually sends her to the desert. And that's all I'm going to say about the book. I think that's all that's like written in the blurb anyways, but... I'll leave it there. But I'm really enjoying it. If you've not read a Melissa Broder book before, short chapters. Short chapters. I love a book with short chapters. And I mean like some chat uh ugh, some chapters are just one page. At most, maybe I've read a four page chapter. And I love them because it's just so easy to get to get into. I can read one chapter and be like, oh, I've got time for another chapter and then next thing I know it's been 50 pages and I love that especially now with having a little one it's yeah it just makes me feel like I'm making really good reading process without having to commit a bunch of time to it so yeah that's what I'm reading at the moment I'm now going to check my phone to see if she's messaged me to say she's here because I've now been talking for four minutes but I just wanted to come and start the vlog and say welcome we're in the car again I hope you don't mind this as a setting because I think it might be the theme of this vlog I'm just about to get my nails done. I got given a voucher a few months ago and it expires today. So it's a bit of a forced pamper today, which not complaining about. It's been forever since I've had my nails done. So I'm actually looking forward to it. I was just looking forward to sitting in a chair and doing nothing. Not having to worry about doing anything. I can just sit and have my mind blank. I don't know if anyone cares. I'm thinking red nails. I used to love getting my nails done in UK where I lived for a few years. I don't know if I mentioned that. We, me and my husband lived in a city called Birmingham and down the street was a nail salon called Nails by Babs. 
if you live in the UK or you live in Birmingham, definitely check them out because they they were good. I really enjoyed getting my nails done there. Um, it was a little bit pricey and for someone who was on minimum wage, it meant I only got it done a couple times a year. But those times were nice. <laughs> I've nearly finished Death Valley. I've got about 20 pages left now. Under 30, definitely. And I'm thinking once I get my nails done, I'll probably just sit in the car and finish them. So I'm completely undistracted. Have I enjoyed it? Yes, I've actually really enjoyed it. It was definitely the right time to pick it up because of the setting, like her, her being in the desert, not having water, being super thirsty and super sweaty was perfect for the week we had in Sydney. It was, it was insane here. And while I was sweating, I was reading about her sweating and made me super thirsty. I, I really liked it. It was weird but it wasn't weird full stop. Like it felt like it still had a bit of purpose. It just, yeah. Still wouldn't say it's my favorite of hers. It's still sitting at second and I doubt these last 20 pages will change my mind about it. The nails are done. And now I'm just gonna sit in the car and finish my book. On my way to see Taylor Swift, I couldn't find any beads to make bracelets, so I'm borrowing one of my sisters. Alright, okay, bye. <laughs> This isn't a very flattering angle, but I'm walking to a coffee date and thought I would just update you. And having it at this angle makes it a little less obvious that I'm recording. So I finished lessons in chemistry, which I will actually sit down and talk more about, but I was actually disappointed in it by the end. And it put me in a bit of a rut and I've only just picked up um, my next read which is Stillborn by Guadalupe Nettle I believe and I love it I love it so much already it's a book about motherhood um, two women who first decided that they didn't want to be mothers and are now in their late 30s and one of them has changed their mind and the other one got sterilized so this is such a horrible explanation but yeah that's what i'm reading i love it i brought it in my bag just in case my friend's late which you never want your friend to be late but also because i'm so into this book i really want to read talk about this month um, I read two books again I can't seem to get past this two books a month situation I've got going on hopefully March will be different but we'll see I started the month off strong I read Death Valley by Melissa Broder and I finished it in something like 10 days which is really good for me I am a slow reader and especially now having a baby I don't read a lot I try to read from 9 p.m to 10 p.m after he's gone to bed but sometimes I'm a bit too tired and don't I think I was really good with actually vlogging my reading experience with that book so I won't say too much 
about it because I'm just going to be echoing everything you've already heard me say at the beginning of this video. But I really enjoyed it. If you have read Melissa Broder before and you like her sort of quirky... I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully you can't. Um, if you do like her sort of quirky, fun storytelling elements, definitely pick this up. It's a lot more fever dreamish than her other books, even though the Pisces includes a merman. I recommend it if you've read Melissa Broder before, or if you think that we have similar taste in books and you want something a bit different. Yeah, a bit more different than your classic character-driven literary fiction sort of book. And then I picked up Lessons in Chemistry, which like I said, is a book club book. Unfortunately, I wasn't a fan of Lessons in Chemistry. It was an interesting reading experience because I started the book and loved it. Any spare minute I could read, I was reading. I was soaking it all up. I enjoyed the fast pace, plot driven, book that it is which is always really nice after reading sort of more slower character driven books and yeah I was devouring it and unfortunately it was just the ending that wrecked it for me maybe wrecks a bit too strong a word okay let's talk about some good points of oh, it so I'm not being so doom and gloom I really enjoyed the commentary on the time period it was set in. You can see how far females have come since, but still how far we still have to go. You know, none of that is anything new, but reading how it was, was infuriating. I found myself so angry. I couldn't imagine how it was being a fem female in those days and the expectation of your housewife and nothing else. It was a lot. So I really enjoyed all that commentary, but our main character who's not very affectionate, doesn't show a lot of love to her daughter and her friends during this whole book, gets to this last little bit and becomes super affectionate towards a somewhat stranger in the book and it just confused me a bit. The ending was also really rushed. Everything kind of just wraps up at the end, which is fine, but it felt like Bonnie realized she only had a few pages left and she just had to throw everything in. So that was too rushed for me. And then the unchar uncharacteristic nature of what was her name? Elizabeth just threw me and yeah, it left a sour taste in my mouth, wasn't a fan of it. And now, unfortunately, when I think about the book, I just think, oh no. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of other people who did really enjoy the book and I know it's made its rounds. I remember when I was working at Waterstones I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was the Waterstones book, fiction book of the year. I can't remember what it was, but it won something and we we're promoting it a lot. So it does have um, an audience. It's just my opinion on it, but yeah, it just felt a bit too rushed and I didn't like the change in character she had at the end, personally. That was Lessons in Chemistry. And that was, that was my reading month. <laughs> Even though I don't seem very enthusiastic, it was a good reading month. I did enjoy my reading experience of Lessons in Chemistry and I really enjoyed um, Death Valley in general. So it wasn't like a bad month for me, except for getting sick. But then I also went to Taylor Swift, which was amazing. I hope this vlog felt a little bit more smoother and natural and enjoyable than my last one thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one